I assume most of you have a Steam account, and so do I. I also have a Discord account, so I guess I can classify myself as a... <coughs> a game game. What a fucking... I use Steam and Discord every single day to play with my mates and talk with my mates, and I have a fun time doing it most of the time, unless I'm playing Apex, then I get depression. This wasn't the case last night. Last night, I, I got scammed, and I'm gonna be sharing my experience in this video, and I'm gonna be just warning others not to fall victim to this. <laughs> I got a message from someone called Bone Masher and it went through my message requests and I always read message requests because I never know what's going to be in them. And he messaged me saying, hi there, if you don't mind me asking, is this your Steam account? And sure enough, it was my Steam account, Juicy on YouTube. I just thought that maybe I killed him in a game because I was playing Apex at that moment and he couldn't message me on Steam, so he messaged me on Discord somehow. So I'm like, yeah, why? And this is what he replied with. I made a mistake on your account. Don't be mad at me or something because I accidentally reported your account for doing an illegal purchase instead of someone else and the moderator said that there's a higher chance your account would be suspended and your IP would be blocked on Steam. That's why I messaged you directly and he sent this what I thought was a real screenshot from Steam support. And this is what the guy said to the Steam support. Greetings, fucking formal. I want to report this account for doing an illegal purchase on Steam. And then he sent my link to my Steam account. And this is the thing I should have realized right there and then. It gave a link for my old name on Steam. My name now on Steam is obviously Juicy on YouTube because I've got to promote my shit, you know. My old name was literally just X Juicy about four or five months ago. And I should have seen through it right there and then. And I don't know why I did. Please have him ban. And I want his account to be deleted as well. Hope you will reply as soon as possible. Thank you. And then Steam support replied of, Hi there. Thank you for contacting our support team. We acknowledge the report you submitted four hours ago about illegal fraud purchases. And right now we are still processing your report. For further questions regarding this request, you may contact Mr. Rick Johnson, a Valve employee at Valve Corporation. Now, I did some research here because he gave me the link to this guy's Discord and Steam. And I added him on both when I still had access to my Steam account. And he he seems real, okay? This guy is an actual Valve employee. So this is when I'm freaking out while talking to my friends. I'm, I'm trying to stay cool. I'm trying to laugh it off, but I can't because I'm sweating, all right? My account's going to be, be banned because some fucking idiot falsely reported it, and I'm panicking, all right? I'm already panicking. So I replied of, yeah, nice one, bro. And then he replied of, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to report you. Can you help me to explain that it was a big mistake report? And this is when I was like, now I'm probably going to lose nearly $1,000 worth of stuff. And who do I say this to? You know, nice English. <laughs> and then he sent me the link and everything to his Discord and that. So I added this guy on Discord, Rick Johnson, official in brackets. He added me back within minutes. And this was when I was kind of getting sketch already because I didn't think a Valve employee would respond that quickly. But I thought nothing of it. You know, I just thought, okay, cool. Okay, I can talk to this guy quicker. I just want to get the shit resolved. I want to get it rectified. And then Rick, my boy Rick, said, Greetings, how may I help you here? And every text he sent was sent in a really weird box with weird font. I don't know what the deal with that is, but I don't know, maybe someone in the comments can tell me what it is. And this is when I was like, yeah, hey mate, this guy called Bone Masher falsely reported my account thinking it was someone else, and I just want to get it rectified as I don't want my Steam account getting banned for nothing. Cheers. Get that up, yeah. And then Ricky Ponting replied of, if you really do care in your account, <laughs> Take this issue as a serious matter, and could you please take a screenshot of your whole conversation between the user that reported you? Which I did. I sent him two screenshots of every message that we sent to each other up until that moment. And then he said, according to what I've read, you have been reported by mistake, and he was trying to report someone else. And I just said, yeah. And then he was like, okay, and then make a full screenshot of your purchase history so that I can review if you were doing any illegal purchase of Steam services. And not gonna lie, it did seem formal. It seemed legit, okay? I thought it was legit up until the very end, which makes me feel like a Fool. <laughs> anyway, I sent him four screenshots, four whole pages of my purchase history of the past couple months. And then he replied of, okay, and now I have to check your Steam account, sir slash ma'am. And to avoid any conflicts, you have to sign out of your Steam from all the devices you're using. And I thought nothing of it, okay? And I was like, okay. And sure enough, I logged out. And I still don't know how he did it, but he gained access to my Steam account without even knowing a password or anything. Without even knowing my name, my username, because my username is different to every single name I've had. And then since I have 2FA on, a text got sent to my phone with a code. And this was when it all went downhill. I'm a f***ing idiot and I sent him the code 
so willingly and so enthusiastically and then he said thank you and may i ask who's the owner of the payment method from your steam purchase and are you over 18 no i turn 18 in a couple months and i'm obviously it and then he replied to the text where i sent him the code and he said we we will going to temporarily ban your steam account and remove all credentials from your email address and once you will prove that you're innocent here all your information and once you'll prove that you're innocent here all your information it will be back to your email address is that clear i'm pissed at this point i'm like oh, for fuck's sake why and then i asked how long is it going to be and he said it depends on the process and may i ask what's the name of the bank did you use for because we are going to get the valve receipt in order to prove your ownership i didn't really take any consideration into the messages there was no punctuation and then i replied of commonwealth bank best bank in the world and then he said okay i would like to call you on discord and he called me on discord and he asked to turn on my screen share and he then told me to go to my online bank like the website and show me the receipts and i wasn't signed in online on this pc to my bank because it was on my old pc and i had to change the password and everything because i got hacked a few months ago blah 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 you know no one fucking cares so i just sent him some receipts on my my phone and then he said okay so in order to remove this issue you need to add funds on site which is a hundred dollars because we are going to make a new unique id for removing this temporary band off your steam account however you don't have to worry about of the money because you will be refunded instantly and i can 100 percent guaranteed it and this is when i got sketchy this is when i was like hold up a minute why is a valve employee wanting this i asked him for proof that he works at valve and he sent me a pretty real looking resume i don't know if anyone could like put their input on this and see if it's legit or not because quite frankly i don't know i said i think i get paid tonight from a shift from weeks ago but this still seems sketchy after they sent the resume i was like okay do i add the funds into my steam account and then you just refund it to my account and then this was when i became really self-aware he said we are buying a gift card and then i'll put it on your steam account in order to remove this temporary ban and then i said if it's into my account i feel safer just because i'm really paranoid about giving money to strangers on the internet then he sent a link to a gift card on g2a of an 100 dollars usd gift card which is like 155 dollars of my currency and then he said as you can see we are not able to use your steam account so he just contradicted himself there he said he'll put it into my account and then he said we can't put it into my account because it's banned. And then I said, is there any more proof that you work at Valve? I just have paranoia about stuff like this, you know? And then he replied with, remember that only the Valve employee can ban people's Steam account. And I was like, true, can I do like a $50 gift card? And he just sent a link to a $50 gift card, which is about 75 AUD. And then I said, do I send this gift card as a gift or something? And this is when I did some research. And this is when I found out that this whole thing was a scam. Oh, shit. I went onto Google, searched my account name, and I couldn't find anything on Steam. That's when I remembered I have my Steam linked to my YouTube, my Twitch. So, sure enough, I went on my YouTube, clicked the link, and it took me right to my Steam account. It was right there in plain sight all along. And this is when I did some more digging and found out that it was really a scam. Because there's a new scam going around where people find your Steam account because it's connected to your Discord, and that's how they get you. And that's why... On the report that guy sent originally that's why it said x juicy because that's the name that's connected to my steam because i connected it when i first had that name and then i messaged rick saying after doing some research that guy's a scam artist the one who messaged you slash reported you he takes part in a new scam where someone gets falsely reported and they message them apologizing and whatnot and do exactly what i did and all for it i don't know why i said all for it but whatever and I added him, you know, pinged him, because he was online and he wasn't responding. I checked back 20 minutes later, and he's unadded me, this Valve employee. And this was when I realized that everything went downhill. I lost access to my Steam account, my phone number got removed, my email address was changed, my password was changed. I was really fucking panicking here. Since Steam support doesn't actually have a contact option, I couldn't do anything. So for the next half an hour, I was fidgeting around trying to find something to do to get access to it again and that's when i realized that they sent me an email when my password got changed or my email got removed i think and it let me go to a link where it let me reset the email address and that's exactly what i did i reset the email address because this new email address was something that started and ended with g and i don't have any email address that starts with that or ends with that so i reset my email i reset my password and that was pretty much the end of it i signed back in and that was it. That's the end of it. Thank God. <laughs>
this is a warning to everyone, okay? You know, anyone can get hit by it. If you have your Steam linked to your Discord account, no matter what name you have, you can potentially get hit by it. And it sucks. And some people might not have it as easy as what I did. I got access to it quite quickly. And because I became self-aware relatively quick, I guess, before doing anything. Because I would have had my account held at ransom if I didn't realize it was a fucking scam. And... Hopefully, anyone watching this video is smarter than me and looks right through this shit because I wasn't smart, okay? I was pretty stupid when it came to this and I'm embarrassed to even be telling this story, but, you know, I just look back and laugh. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you, you know, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also, thanks for 800 subs, 80% there. And also, follow my socials and join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. And, uh... Have a nice day, or night, wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.